Someone is waiting for you to make the first move. Even though they know that they did you wrong. And ought to come towards you. Without fear, without being biased, without uh, trying to be or uh, 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 trying to play the victim. Someone did you wrong, and they had the, the desire to con to come back to reconnect. But they to them because they feel that you love them that that much because you care about them that much because you've always been reaching out to them. They are waiting for you to reach out one more time, but you are not reaching out. You've already moved on. Someone, I saw so, someone has someone has someone has gotten healing. Hallelujah. Someone is healed from a situation and they've moved on. And someone is busy, someone is busy, busy, busy thinking that you still care so much about them and that you're going to reach out. Someone dis wants to reach out to you, but they are waiting for you to reach out before they res before they respond or reciprocate something. But you've tried. You've moved on. You are not even paying attention, paying any more attention to them. It was just too much. Even if, even if the that the first the, the first to reach out to you, now you are you are very much you you are at the state where you you can now see red flags and actually call it out. If you are at the stage right now that you you, you if you see their red flags, you will be like be so blunt with them. Not like before that you were so blinded blinded. Uh, you could minimize, you could uh, underestimate their, their red flags because of the love that you have. But right now, where you are right now, you've already healed. You're, you're no longer being consumed by the passion for them or by the emotion for them or by the desire towards them. So right now, you can literally see their red flags and call, it for what, <laughs> call them for what they are. So someone is still there dreaming and thinking that because you've always been reaching out, you will still reach out this moment and this is the last time that you're going to reach out for them to reciprocate or for them to respond. But you've already moved on, you've healed. And the truth is that if they are coming back this time to, to like reconnect with you, you are going to be so, you're going to be facing them really, really so boldly, beloved. You're going to be telling them your mind. You will not be afraid to... Um, you'll not be sugar, you'll not be, you know, sugar cutting your way. You, 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 you'll be so real. You'll be so real to tell them things because now you are healed. You're no longer being, uh, being carried by the passion for them. You shall call someone, or you have to call someone out. Is that they come towards you correctly or they just let go? Or they let go? Because you've been always, you, you've been like, you know, always approaching them, talking with them, trying to convince them to, 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 uh, uh, um, to reconcile with you and things. So to them, they feel that, okay, uh, they can just play anyhow, just wait for you after you're going to come back. But I don't see you going back to, some, to somebody. You've already healed, you've, already, you've cried enough, you've gone through so much enough, and this is your new life unfolding before you. And as and, and and as they make up their mind to come towards you, you shall not be afraid to tell them realities of things. You're gonna be calling them out without fear, because now you don't you don't, you care less. You don't care about anything. You don't care about what they feel or what they think right now, because what they put you through is more than what they're gonna be feeling by feeling when you tell them the truth about something you couldn't you couldn't tell them because you were so much uh, in, in in your in your emotions in your passion for them. The time of truth is now. Hallelujah. You're about to tell someone the truth. Something that you've been, it's been bothering you, you could not tell them because you had soft, soft spot for them. But that soft spot, beloved, God, you have healed from that. It was, a it was manipulation. It was the, the soft spot was just the fact that you wanted to like just understand with them. And, but God, God has delivered you from manipulation, from, from excessive thinking. God has delivered you from excessive thinking emotions towards someone that doesn't even care about you, you are moving on. Now you're going to look at them like this. When they come towards you to talk to us, to talk to you, you'll be like, you'll be so vigilant, you'll be so clear, you'll be so bold. You Because you have healed. You've healed. God bless you so much. And continue to give the grace to say things for what they are. Hallelujah. You, you, you took someone's red flags for granted. You took someone's weaknesses. Like, you, 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 you bore someone's weaknesses. You, you overlooked someone's weaknesses. And that actually turned against you. Now, 
you can see clearly. Complex is so much. I have been humility. Faith is our vehicle of so much strength. You shall, be, you shall not be afraid to tell someone the reality of things. Glory be to God. So bold. Is someone being so bold to tell, to tell someone, really? Like, because now you can see clearly. You're no longer in that passion that whatever it was that they did. You know, to, to, to keep you coming back towards them. Oh, God is faithful. Hallelujah. You are blessed. You're blessed. You are blessed. Hallelujah.